and today is day 18 of the fast of Daniel for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And I'm here once again to share with you a passage very um, important of the Bible. Of course, everything is important, but as I said the other day, if we are not in search of the treasures that are inside each verse, we're just going to read words. There won't be any spirit in that. But when we put our hearts to think about whatever we, we have been reading, whatever we have been meditating upon, the Holy Spirit speaks to us. And you see, today um, I was reading a passage that, you know, as I said, if you just read, you wouldn't really see what's behind this verse, the spirit behind this passage. And I'm, I'm going to share this with you. It's in Matthew chapter 11, verse 1. Now it came to pass, when Jesus finished commanding his twelve disciples, that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. That's it. What is hidden in this passage? I'm sure um, anybody could understand it in, in a different way. The Holy Spirit could speak to them in a different way. But what called my attention in this verse is that, you know, this passage was right after Jesus was teaching a lot of things to his disciples. And in this past passage, it says that when Jesus finished commanding his 11 disciples, right? No, he said. It's written, when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. 12. What does that mean? It means that Judas was there. It means that this man that later on betrayed Jesus, he was there. He was there listening to all of those things that all the other disciples were listening to. Yet, he decided to choose his own, own way. He decided to choose to do his will instead of the will of God. And we have to think about that because, you see, in the same way that Judas had the opportunity to change things around. He, he listened to the same things that all the other disciples had listened to. He learned, or at least he heard, all of the teachings of the Lord Jesus. But he decided to follow his own will, his own, his own ways. And what about us? What about you who have been listening to these videos who have been taking part of the fast of Daniel, who have been in the church for a long time, what are you doing with everything you've been learning? Or what are you going to do with everything you've been learning? It's something to really think about because you are receiving the, me the same message I'm receiving. The people in the church are receiving the same message as the message you are receiving. But at the end of the day, each one of us will make our own choices. Each one of us will choose which way we want to follow. What about you? Which way is that? Because perhaps you are doing the fasting just because everybody else is doing. You are not seeing any profit or any value in that. And, you know, for you, it's, you're just going with the flow. You know, everybody's going this way, let me go this way. But when things doesn't come, don't, don't come from us, from inside of us, when we do it just because others are doing, there will be a moment where we're going to be tired of it. 
And I don't think that that's what you want. If you are seeking to please God, if you are seeking to, to do the will of God, so make it to be true, make it to be a reality. Don't be just among the crowd that want to do that and you are, at the end of the day, you will decide to do your own will. Because Jesus was giving the opportunity for Judas to repent. Every time he preached, every time he said something for, for them, he, it was the opportunity that Judas had to decide not to betray Jesus. But he didn't listen. He decided what was best for him. He, he loved money above God. Like we, we said yesterday, there are people who love other things above God. And that's why they don't receive God in their lives. Because they have other things, other, other blessings in, their, in the first place in their lives. And you. Hmm? Are you taking this opportunity that the Holy Spirit is giving to you? Are you really taking advantage of these moments and really, you know, doing your best and doing your part in this fast of Daniel for you to receive the Holy Spirit? Because messages, words, blogs, the Bible, you've been listening to. You've been reading, you've been praying, but you have to decide what you're going to do with all of that. Don't choose your own way. Because we know that. We know Judas and we know what happened to him. He killed himself because he couldn't take the guilt. He couldn't take the devil that came after him to pressure him. So you have the opportunity in your hands today to do what's right, to do what pleases God. So don't let this opportunity to pass and you are still the same person. That's why there must be the thirst, the hunger for the Holy Spirit. Because when we are born of God, we are able to resist. We are able to say no to our own will and say yes to the will of God. And I, I believe that that's what you want. So give your all. Take this opportunity. Even if you are taking this opportunity, opportunity very lightly lately, maybe... I don't know, one of these days you failed, you watched TV, or you did something that you were not supposed to do. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. It can still be your turn. Don't allow the devil to come and accuse you, to pressurize you, to make you feel down. Don't allow that to happen. But trust that from the moment you surrender to God, he will come upon you. And that's my advice for you today. Choose the good part. Take this opportunity for you to be a new creature in Jesus' name, right? That was it for today. As I said, if you've been blessed through these videos, share with your friends. Don't allow anything to stop you from reaching to other people who are suffering or who are in need of the Holy Spirit. You can do that for them and Jesus will be very pleased because you are taking his word to other people, all right? So that's it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.